everyone, it is Monique, more commonly known as Shimiche, and I am back with my first Mental Health Monday in a long, 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 long time. And this Mental Health Monday is why you should always believe the victim over the accuser in a sexual assault sort of situation. I do want to start off by saying hi if you're new to my channel and I'll see a lot of mental health Mondays in the recent thing and you might not they might not be super consistent I'm trying to bring them back when I first started growing up on YouTube I wanted to start like spreading awareness since I started growing a platform and making topics about like mental health and stuff my mental health did not get to the best state of place just because like I went through a lot of stuff um, I've explained some of it on here I never really went fully into depth with it I probably never will but who knows I don't know I was going through a bad time so I didn't really post them that often my mental health isn't perfect now but I do still have this platform and I do still want to spread awareness so I'm gonna try to keep up on these videos better than I have been because my mental health is in a much better place than it used to be so with that being said we are going to explain why you should believe the victim over the accuser always. A lot of people will argue with this and be like, oh, well, that could ruin the accuser's life. That could, that could ruin their life if, if you believe the accuser over, over the victim, innocent until proven guilty. Here's the thing with this situation right now. You are either defending someone who is lying about rape or you were defending someone who is a rapist i don't know about you but like me i don't want to like possibly accidentally turn around and realize that i was just defending a rapist like that that would not that would not that would not really feel good and also if you do defend this like rapist that could severely impact the victim for a really 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 long time it could really fuck with the victim's head mentally for a while depending on the situation a lot of people who aren't believed i noticed are typically children which is like the worst because these are typically like youth claiming that they have like been sexually assaulted and then it's typically adults who are like mm, you're too young to like even really know how to explain that you don't know what you're talking about i'm not saying this is always the case because obviously there are a lot of other cases where like there will be two adults and people will defend the rapist so i'm not saying that because that is very common in media i'm saying in real life situations that like i've just heard like being a person and talking to people there are a lot of like youth that you will meet that they will say that they did go to an adult to attempt to get help when they were a kid and the adult did not believe them did not trust them did not help them for whatever the reason being and once again i say that this can severely impact the victim's health because if this is a situation a stepfather and daughter kind of situation and the daughter tells the mother and the mother does not believe her she lives with this stepfather so now she has to live with that she has to live with her mother not believing her every single day and like that is exactly what i mean when i say it can severely impact the victim's health because now the child has to continue being traumatized and extra traumatized because now the child is also being called a liar but the thing is in this situation we're like let's say it's someone who is lying about being assaulted by someone else eventually the truth will out and for two i'm sure the person who got accused is going to be much more understanding of why people believed what the person accused them of because that's a pretty heavy fucking accusation like most normal minded people aren't gonna be like oh yeah i hate you for that now most of them will be like well you know what they did say that so i can see why you defended them i would do the same thing that is that is going to be the mindset whereas like if you don't believe someone who actually was assaulted you could be like damaging 
their health because that happened to them and now you don't believe that that happened to them and now they have to like live with like this horrible thing happening and people just not believing the words that come out of their mouth and they don't they probably don't even want to fucking believe it either because it's a horrible thing as a victim myself they do not want to believe that that happened to them either and if a victim does even come to you with their story the last thing you should be saying is oh my god did that really happen to you because like as a victim myself i feel like that all the time like oh my god i can't believe that happened to me like i wish that never happened to me but when i say it like it not only doesn't like feel real but like i don't want it to be real so it's just like you're asking them something that they wish they that wasn't real anyways i hope i did a good job explaining in this situation why you should believe victims over accusers as always have a great day or night and drink water